The Bulls are in the midst of conference play. Welcome to another edition of the Mark Kingston Show. A head coach joins me now. Coach, you guys have gone through two weekends of conference play. A 5-1 and one conference record sweeps over Cincinnati and then winning two out of three against Connecticut. What have you liked about the start of conference play so far? Uh, so far, so good. Uh, once again, I think we're a team that's built on pitching and defense and, and conference games so far. It's been very good. And our offense continues to, to get better. And so that's what we hoped going into the season. Uh, we've, we've been able to win some close games. Games. And so we just have to continue to stay the course, uh, as we say all the time, and focus on our pitching and defense, keep that solid, keep it where it needs to be, and then just hope that our hitters continue to evolve and get better. I know you've seen the character of this team a lot with some comeback wins, but that UConn series, very tough situation on the road in a cold environment. Can you talk about just the determination that your team showed in those two wins? Yeah, that was a gut check, no question about it. Uh, we, we played on two different fields uh, while we were there. It, it was cold, it was windy, uh, so there were, and, and we're facing a very good team, a well-coached team, a scrappy team, a, a team that knows how to win and has had NCAA regional uh, experience. So it, there were a lot of things going against us, so to see our team come back in two games uh, and win late, uh, I think was, was a great indication of what this team has in it. So uh, we just need to continue to build off of that uh, and understand that even if we fall behind in the game, we still have a chance and we'll continue to fight uh, until that last out is made. I know we've talked about this a couple of times, but now that you're a little bit past the halfway point of the season, players are maybe getting tired a little bit, they have pitched or they have played in a lot of games. How do you keep them fresh and motivated to get out there and play every game? Well, our goal once again is to make sure that come game time we are fresh mentally and physically. And so as a head coach, one of my jobs is to kind of monitor that, get a feel for uh, where we are uh, as a team, physically, mentally. Um, sometimes guys, you know, over the course of a season, some guys are in great shape all the way and you don't have to worry about it. Other guys, you know, their conditioning may be at a different level, so you have to monitor that. Uh, you know, mentally, I think we're in a really good place right now, mentally. Uh, we've, we've tried to make sure guys stay in a good place, not get down uh, uh, if things aren't going their way. So I think mentally our team is in a really good place right now. And so now physically, the challenge uh, as, the, as the temperatures start to, to get higher and, and we get into the 90s, uh, the challenge is to make sure physically we stay fresh. So we'll monitor that during games, uh, but maybe just as importantly, uh, our practices, how we practice, what we work on, the duration of, of our practices. We'll make sure that we do a good job of, of keeping the guys sharp, uh, but make sure they have all the energy they need come game time. From a strategic standpoint, when you play a lot and you play the course of a game, five games or so in a week, Pitching is always a concern. Starting pitching, bullpen. You guys have made some changes. Ryan Valdez made a weekend start a couple of weekends ago. So with this, how do you manage that and keep all the arms fresh? Well, I think once again, you've got to have guys fit in, in certain roles. And so we know what our weekend rotation needs to be at this point. Obviously, it's it's Herget, Mulholland, and, uh, and Joe. So uh, we know the back of our bullpen right now uh, is Farley and Peterson. Uh, so those roles have been defined, and those, those roles will be consistent throughout the rest of the year. We've decided with Ryan Valdez, his best role for us moving forward is kind of as a swing guy. He can start for you and help you win, but he can also be a key bullpen guy uh, on the weekend to help you win. So for us right now, he's, he's almost like a super utility position player where he, you know, a guy like that can play short, third, second, uh, and help you win in a number of different ways. Ryan is the pitching version of that. He can help us win as a starter, but also as a reliever, and he's such a great competitor, and he can bounce back, and so he, he fits the bill of what you need in that role, and so right now that will be his role uh, as we continue forward. Well, we talk some pitching. When we come back, we'll talk offense with senior Buddy Putnam after this on the Mark Kingston Show. Once again, Tampa General Hospital is proud to be named the number one hospital in Tampa Bay by U.S. News & World Report and recognized as one of America's best hospitals in four specialties, cardiology and heart surgery, nephrology, orthopedics, and neurology. Number one in Tampa Bay, again, and one of America's best, Tampa General Hospital. 
trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. Welcome back to the Mark Kingston Show. Senior first baseman Buddy Putnam joins us now. Buddy, you're having quite a year with the long ball. Seven home runs this season. How has that been for you so far? It's different. It's a different feeling. It's been a lot of fun. Um, it's, it's been a really cool experience, a great way to finish up with my, my career. You've always had that nice stroke, but it's been kind of hit or miss. You had a couple home runs last year, but to have that consistency with the long ball, has there been a change or what's been going on for you at the plate? Um, Coach Kingston and, and, and Coach Current and myself, we've, we've worked together. We've made some really small changes. Uh, my finish, specifically finishing lower. Um, and, and my approach, my pitch selection, it's just, it's allowed me to, to take the same swing and become much more consistent with it, uh, finding a lot more barrels. Is it something with your at-bats throughout the course of the game too? Because you have had some home runs later in the game, seventh, eighth inning home runs, and it seems like clutch situation, and then you come through. Um, I think that goes back to, to my approach that we've worked on, uh, seeing some more pitches. Um, you know, I've, I've had quite a few five, six, seven pitch at bats, um, really stretching out at bats, and I'm seeing a lot more pitches. So later in the game, um, nothing, nothing really surprises me at that point in the, in the game. You have played some left field in your career, played a lot of first base. What's the difference about playing in the outfield when you used to be in a first baseman? Oh, I actually came in as an outfielder, um, so that that was my more comfortable spot. And and then becoming a first baseman and trying to go back to being an outfielder. Um, my whole life I've kind of been a guy that's bounced around position to position so it's actually it's really nice this year um, getting to settle in and, and really just focus on one spot on the field. What do you like about playing first? The balls are always coming your balls way. Balls are always, yeah. I'm, I'm always in the action um, and, and you know I like I like the ability to be able to, to pick guys out at some tough situations. Uh, you know we've got some guys with some really good range in the infield and that makes for some really long throws and, and I take a lot of pride in being able to bail them out a lot. And, uh, and I take a lot of pride in that. Let's talk about what I'm sure was a pretty special moment for you. A couple weeks ago against Cincinnati, come to the plate with the bases loaded. Are you thinking grand slam in that situation? No, I wasn't. And I, uh, I'd never hit one before. Um, so I was, I was really just looking for a good pitch to hit and uh, keep, a, keep a great inning rolling. And that, that was really my only approach. And, and I was sitting on a fastball. I got ahead in the count and, and put a good swing on it. Turned out to be a walk-off Grand Slam. The Bulls ended up mercy ruling Cincinnati. So a strange and kind of cool way to win that game. And <laughs> for all the home runs this year, is there a favorite one that you have? Oh, goodness. Um, the, the favorite has to be, I think, Florida Gulf Coast. Um, that was a huge win. It, it really got us on a roll. And uh, that, that kind of sparked the, the late-inning comeback. And, and that's probably my favorite one this year, the second one against FGCU. You guys are kind of a little more than halfway through the season, but still a lot of baseball left. Having been through this before for the last few years, how do you stay motivated and focused even though there's still a grind ahead of you? Um, in, in the past, you know, we, we've been able to see some guys, especially older guys, get burnt out towards the end of the year. Um, but not with this group, not with this coaching staff. I think that... Uh, I think we're doing a lot of things that keep it a lot of fun to come back to the ballpark, um, practice or a game. Um, we all have a blast out there, and the coaching staff does a great job of keeping it fun. It's, it's no, I don't see anybody getting tired of being here. Well, buddy, uh, we'll keep you from getting tired. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll let you rest after this. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's senior first baseman Buddy Putnam. We'll be back with more of the Mark Kingston Show after this. This is where the legends live, waiting for someone with better innovation. From the brand that reinvented the t-shirt comes the Under Armour Speed Form Apollo. This is our rocket ship. Looking for an individual or family health care plan, or maybe a dental policy? Look no further than the Tampa Florida Blue Centers in West Shore, Carrollwood, and Pinellas Park. For more information, go to floridablue.com or call the number on the screen. We just heard from senior first baseman Buddy Putnam, who has played a lot of first over the course of his career, also played a stretch in left field last year, but has recently developed a nice power stroke, seven home runs this season. How has that come along for him this year? Well, he's a veteran guy. You know, uh, he's, he's into his fourth year of, of, of playing college baseball. He's 
probably stronger than he's ever been. He's he has experience, and you know we made a, a, a minor tweak in his swing, nothing major. You know, it's not like we're taking credit for this big power surge. Buddy gets all the credit, um, but we just made a, a minor tweak in his follow through just to hopefully get him a little bit more backspin, and it's definitely helped him. So, uh, Buddy gets a lot of credit. He's a great guy. He's he's one of the more uh, uh, popular guys on the team. He's always in a good mood and he's always picking guys up. So you like to see guys that, that are, are that energetic and that positive uh, a force on your team. You like to see them get rewarded with great success on the field as well. And so real happy that Buddy's having such a great senior year. How important is power to a team? Because we've seen some clutch home runs from him, from Luke Maglich and some other guys. How important is it to have that ability to just hit a home run when you're up there? Well, I, I think it's one of the most important things uh, in offensive baseball. Uh, there's a reason why the, the, the highest paid players in baseball are power hitters. Uh, Power does so much for an offense. It gives you quick, easy runs. Uh, it leads to higher on base percentages because pitchers have to be more careful. And so power generates so much offense for a team and it generates offense easily. It helps slugging percentages, it helps on base percentages. And uh, with one swing of the bat, you can totally change a game. So power is something we'll always place a premium on. Do you think you've settled into a lineup now that gives you the best hitting players out there? I think right now uh, in the lineup, we've, we've settled into a lineup that pretty much has been consistent now, for, I would say, over the last couple weeks. Uh, and I think it gives us our best combination of, of an offensive defensive balance, uh, a little bit of speed, a little bit of power, uh, some quality at bats. And so, you know, I think right now uh, the, the lineup we're putting out there, um, it, it gives us our best chance to win. But also there's, there's still some guys uh, in the background that still at some point, you know, will get their opportunity and I think can help us win as well. When you're playing a conference series, sure, a sweep is nice, but I imagine the goal is just winning the series at least two out of three. ECU this weekend, another team that has shown they can hit the ball. They're pretty good top to bottom. What will be the challenges in facing them? Well, we have great respect for East Carolina. Uh, going back to my days at Tulane and even going back to my days at Miami, we played them a bunch. And so they're always a team that's going to play really hard. Uh, they're a blue collar team that, that plays with a lot of emotion. And so uh, we expect a great challenge. And so we don't go into it saying we want to sweep a series or win a series. Our goal is to win the next inning of the next game. That, that's all you can do in baseball. So we're not going to get ahead of ourselves. We know it's going to be a great challenge. We know they're going to come in here just as competitive as we are. Uh, so our goal is to just play great on Friday night. And then uh, after that, we'll tr try to play great on Saturday and then Sunday. Well, it starts three this weekend against the Pirates. The Bulls stay at home for a midweek game, but we are in the midst of back and forth, home and road, and we'll have continuing coverage all season long here on the Mark Kingston Show.